Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm your host, Earl Team, alongside my big uncle, my co-host, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment below, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know, Dream Teamers, when we upload new content. We're getting right to it. We're going to talk about a sleeper today in the NBA Western Conference, the Utah Jazz, number one in the Western Conference. They're balling. A lot of people calling him a contender out there. We know it's early, but we're going to get into that subject tonight. Uncle Al, what you think about them? Listen, man, I've been watching them. You got uh, Donovan Mitchell, who's been who's who, who's been real consistent, but it's a whole team effort, and that's and they're deep at every position, every position is. From the bench to the starters, it's, it's it, to me. I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm not jumping the gun, but as far as look wise, they they look like a real contender. You know, barring no injuries, I look. I, I took a look at them last year. You know, they got they had Angles and uh, Bonjanovic, and uh, they was they, it was their first year with them last year. Bogdanovich was out for the bubble, right? They right, he was out. He, that's what I'm saying. Tell you, they had a bunch of injuries. All throughout the year, so they never could get into their rhythm. And when they came back, you know, it's a new team. You need that time on the floor. And I, I believe that this is what they were seeing when they signed some of those players. And people forgot about those signings last year. And now you're seeing the effect of them. Yeah. And they also have a player stepping up who's probably one of the highest paid players in the league who should have been stepped up a long time ago. That happens to be who Mike Conley, right? He's been MIA for quite some time, but well, he's was, balling this year. That go right back into the same thing. He was one of them new signings last year. It was his first year with the team. It, it took some time for them to get together. And and then, you got to remember, that wasn't even an ordinary season last year. No, it wasn't. You're right. Yeah, it wasn't an ordinary season. So they did they really have time to get to get it together, to um, to go into the bubble, to be ready? Then they, they, they're they going in there. They don't have half uh, uh, Bonjanovic, who's... I mean, he's showing his presence this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, come on. And it's from three, the percentage that they're shooting, each individual that's Even playing. Even Clarkson knocking yeah, down the uh, long ball. Yeah, yeah, I mean, come on. They're deep. They have a big. Uh, you got uh, what's the name? Came back and signed with them. He came from New Orleans. The big man, Derek Favors. Derek Favors back. You know, so you, you always got a seven footer in the game. You know. That, that's that toughness so they, they they holding up that middle you're not going to be able to come up in there in the paint and just do whatever you want to do mm-hmm. I mean people don't understand I, Utah's there so you think they're a true contender I think they're true con- barring no injuries mm-hmm. and, and, and and or, or setbacks because they to me they can only get better I dig that I just think that um, Donovan Mitchell is a baller I don't think he's a Batman, but we don't know if they need a Batman on this team. The thing with with him is, can he play off the ball consistently? Because sometimes I think he's better not running the point, but with the ball in his hand. So him and Mike Conley kind of, I don't think they mesh well together. But like you said, they didn't have a full season together last year with the bubble. I know a very different type of season, but I still don't think they're top three team in the West. The standing stay one thing. It is early. I'm not going to mm-hmm. sleep on them and say that they can't make any noise, but I did see them blow a 3-1 lead. Yeah. I, and most teams who blow 3-1 leads have that pressure. We speak about it the entire season. No one's talking about that. They have pressure as well. Yeah. Because they were one game away from a Western Conference final, but they gave it away. And you know good and well, I don't ever, ever want to give anybody some, some, some excuses. And... Giving them an excuse as far as, oh, 3-1, they blew it, but I'm going to give them one. We just talked about it. Mm-hmm. They were missing pieces when they came to the bubble. They never had time to get that chemistry, to be in those battles. To be in those battles that that and know how to come out of them because they, they, they didn't experience them during the season. Mm-hmm. It was a shortened season, you know, with the pandemic and all that. So... I'm gonna give them their excuse. All right. I'm gonna give them their excuse, and and well, they're a young team. Oh, that 
Yeah, they are. They, they're well coached. Quinn Snyder's a pretty good coach. Yeah. But, and you mentioned Jordan Clarkson. Uh, <laughs> he's he's definitely right now, to me, he's the sixth man of the year. Mm, I, I don't know if I'm rolling with that. Mm. Take but, time to think about it. I guarantee you can't come up with a six man that's coming off the off the bench on any team, east or west, that's playing better than Jordan Clarkson right now. All right, that's another segment. Mm-hmm. All right, but as far as Utah goes, yes, they're number one in the West. They're balling. We got to give them some love. You know what I mean? But it's still early. Mm-hmm. Um, in the West, it's not about the regular season or standings as far as the end of the season. It's about coming out of the West. That's what you judge it by. Yeah. Because the barometer is who? LeBron and the Lakers, you have – Clippers. The Clippers over there. Yeah. Denver I, is rolling too. Denver's yeah. rolling as mm-hmm. well. So it's a lot of teams, and they sent them home last year. Yeah. Headache. Mm-hmm. So they're playing well now, but huh. we shall see going forward. I just I'm not a big believer in Donovan Mitchell. I'm not gonna say he has game. I'm not a hater, but I don't think that he is the guy to get you over the hump. I think he needs that other piece, and he complements that number one player. Wait, wait one second. Let, let's pull back here. Talk your let's talk. Let's pull back. The Hive. Utah, uh, I know you, you you hard fans out there. I know what it's like. y'all buzzing, and and I'm mentioning, I'm giving you your just do. It's just one one thing. I'm I'm calling them a contender. I'm not saying that they're gonna be there. Uh, I mean, it's a it's 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 a marathon. So how is that any different from any other season? Because they're always maybe range is three to five. Not like this year, three to five. They right now they have the best record in the league by half a game. Okay. And it's still early. A half a game over. Who is that? Under them Clippers? Clippers oh. in L.A. With no. Both, both no. those teams are there. No. Um, Lakers lost again. So they're like third right now. Yeah, by like a, a game or a, a half a game. It's about a game. Yeah, yeah something so, like that. So even with Utah playing I, their I'm best basketball. Right all right, pull it Let's up. Let's get to it. But even with Utah playing their best ball, L.A. hasn't hit their stride yet. The Clippers are quietly uh Running, not running things, but handling their business. You have Denver starting to heat up. They're two games ahead of, uh, no, a game and a half ahead of, of, of Lakers and a half a game over the Clippers. That's my point, yeah. yeah. But it's but still the early. Nuggets is coming too. Nuggets are coming. Spurs San, is San back. San Antonio's playing better. Yeah. That's what I I'm mean, saying. So, but this, this, this is when, when I say contender, this is what I mean. There's other contenders also. Mm-hmm. But it's, I, I know these high fans, the Utah Jazz fans, I know they're buzzing there, and and and, and, and they gotta be excited because I'm not I'm, I'm 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 excited for Utah, mm-hmm. you know, watching them. Uh, they look they look they look real exciting, man, yeah. real exciting. All right. so, are you excited about them? I'm playing devil's advocate. Are you excited about them or their style of play, or is it just that you're a big fan of the NBA and you like to see parity throughout the league? Both. <laughs> I like to watch them play, right? Because I like they play as a team, mm-hmm. and yeah, and they beat you man. together. So that's hard to game plan against. That's why I'm I'm saying a contender, yes, because it's high when you got five people on the court. That's deadly, and you don't know how you're gonna stop them. But then you also got to worry about their bench too, mm-hmm. and they all doing it as a unit, not. Not the ISO ball and all that. And if you want to go that route, Donovan Mitchell, he, he's a he's a great ISO no, player. Ball. Yeah, he definitely. So I'm excited about Utah, and I know that I know you, the Utah fans, uh, are feeling themselves, and uh, I think they'll be right back. I, I I just hope that that they can get past the pandemic and fill up them seats, because that's another advantage that that's they have. Because play, if the, those fans it's get in Lake. that building yeah. and, and and motivate and give that energy to those that team right there, it, it's hard to come up in Utah and get a win. It always yeah. been, always. you know, that's history. So we'll see. We shall see. All right, so the, I guess the ball is in their court. Donovan Mitchell, they got to finish strong. Gorbea is playing very well, like you said. The bench is looking very good. Clarkson is playing the best ball he's ever played. I think it's surprisingly because most players play that way on a contract yet. Yeah, he, he got the contract, he, and somehow he still went to another up. level. Yeah. So, and, but, but you mentioned Gobert. Gobert, I believe his motivation is Charles Barkley. I mean, Sha- Shaq. Shaq. Yeah, yeah. You know, Shaq been down his throat, which I, I believe Shaq was hating on a, a bit but that he had a big game coming back he said they're on a mission that's what he says 29 and 20 coming from him that's that's that contract right there no doubt you know what i'm saying so 
All right, we shall see, man. It's still early. Yes. We got a long ways to go. They're number one for now. In two days, they could fall down three slots. Who knows? It's, it's, I love it that way. It should be like that all season. Parody, Between, right? Yeah. Damn. All right, so there you have it, man. The Utah Jazz Dream Team is out there. Tell us what you think in the comments section. Are, are you a believer of them? Will they come out of the West? Can they make it to the Western Conference Finals and go to the next step? Is Donovan Mitchell that guy, as my uncle stated? Uh, is Clarkson reliable long term? These are all questions. But for now, we congratulate y'all. You're number one in the Western Conference. That's a huge feat. And then anything else you want to add? Let's get it on. All right, I like to hear that, man. This is the... Uh, Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big on Alan Tima. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, Dream Teamers. And uh, we out of here. Peace.